welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I'm channeling Rory Gilmore and we're headed to Unionville. I did this makeup tutorial on my main channel if you want to check it out. I used a bunch of K-Beauty and it's a no makeup makeup look which makes it a little harder to transform but I hope you guys like it and that I got the vibe similar. And now we're- did I say where we're going? Not yet. Oh, okay. And today we are going to Unionville and that's where the pilot episode was shot. It's a small town in Canada. We're gonna see what looks the same, what doesn't, and it'll be lots of fun. Let's go. <laughs> so right here, the sign was placed. And they tried to cover this with little leaves. I'm using a blog to see where to go, and the rest of the episodes were all shot at the Warner Brothers Studios in Los Angeles, but the pilot was Unionville on their main street. There was a man, had to lock the door, make sure it was locked. Anyway, and I am wearing this beret, which isn't super Rory, except for the pom-pom in that one scene, this one here, <laughs> but it's hiding my wig, which is the only way I'm gonna wear it in public, but I actually really like this hair. Wow. Here's the first outfit that I put together. I just got this sweater on Amazon and it reminds me of when she's at her grandparents for the first time. We have this comfy skirt, leggings which are not giving me any warmth, tights I mean, and then these kind of ugly shoes. They're like kind of clunky, but yeah. And then I threw on a jean jacket and a hat because it's cold. What's with the winter coat you got? Yeah. I love this coat. It's gonna be cold. Oh, it's freezing. We have to go get a big coffee, and also there's tons of amazing food here. I get so excited. Here's the most iconic Rory outfit. This sweater's from ASOS, but it's like touching my neck, so I actually ripped it to have a wider neckline and it is so cold. So I added these homemade looking mitts and hat and I'm covering my eyebrows. This is my little trick right now. <laughs> we also have these dark jeans and the same shoes and a backpack. It is so cute and quaint here. Lone coffee cup by the church. Did you get me saying that? No. Oh, I said I'm glad there's not a lot of people out there. I'd be embarrassed because I'm like total. Rory. I'm Rory. Sure. So this is where they shot Luke's diner, though it looks nothing like it, and it's a small. I'll walk in. But it's actually closed. French bourbon. I think it's one of my favorite scents ever. 
there were some really cute little boutiques that were super reasonably priced and I got this hat and I was looking for a hat like this. I saw one on Revolve for like $100 and this one was like $25 and it's so cozy. Let's try it on. This is so cute. I feel like with the tan and my long hair and brown makeup, this could be such a cute look. I also got these two scrunchies that I thought looked very festive. Thank you. Oh, so cute. So where we're eating, having Italian. Go check out the gazebo. They decorate this for each season. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I had a lot of fun. I love quaint towns, like they're my favorite. And we had a great day in Unionville. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next clip. Oh, the little gazebo's all. headquarters today of a ray because I don't want to do the back of my head my favorite jacket okay and my favorite boots <laughs> look at that oh do you see what evil this guy is From Stars Hollow, we're headed back to Toronto, and this is my actual makeup, what I like to wear a little bit more, as you can see, and I have this cute beret that I've matched, this um, like tunic looking dress, and I'm excited because I'm going back to the Pinterest headquarters. I showed you guys what it looks like in a previous video, and we're doing a brand connect there. So I met some of the girls, um, I think two or three weeks ago when I went to a cooking class. I don't think I ever inserted footage yet. Here's a little throwback to that. That was the first Pinterest event I attended. If you're in Toronto, you should for sure check this place out. You can do a cooking class in pairs of two or full social events. We made a four course meal, but we were just in charge of this delicious soup. Two ones, the squash to be soft. you wanna try it, make Okay. like, I have like a hand one. chestnut but I also applied a little bit of this maxi blush from Rimmel London to the middle of the lips it's one of my favorite things to do I didn't end up vlogging the second event I went to because it was more like a seminar like there were speakers and meetings with brands and agencies and other creators and I left with beautiful flowers and I have to shout out my Pinterest you can always see what looks I'm planning to do over there and see the inspiration so be sure to follow and I think Tyler and I are gonna head to Mandy's Salads for dinner. I love Mandy's and I thought that it was only in uh, Montreal, but no, they have one in Toronto. We made it to Mandy's. This is an injectable place. Me too, this is a cool area. with a little unboxing. This is from Olive in June. I was just sent over some holiday nails and I have a bunch of comfy socks so I'm definitely giving this to my entire family. And yeah, let's open up these boxes. 
and I specifically love the medium length almond shape. So this is pretty much all I got, I think. Yep, they're all medium. So these just fit my nails super, super well. They last me at least two weeks. And if any pop off, I just glue them right back on and they don't like damage my natural nails. So I don't have any on, but I'm gonna apply some. <sighs> How pretty is this? Pink glitter gradient. Another whole box. Oh, I like this shade. These would've been pretty when I filmed the espresso look. Classic French. They said, wow, I say ooh a lot. <laughs> these are so pretty. I'm definitely gonna gift some of these. Let's lay them all out. Thank you so much, Olive and June. I'm obsessed. Let me know if you wanna see like a best practices on how to use these, because I have lots of tips. I'll have a link down below to these. You can also find them at Target if you're in the States and Walmart. And in Canada, I've ordered online. I've been waiting on these to do my nails, so I'm gonna pick out which one to do, and I'll see you in my next video.